If you want to be a successful Amazon seller, having the right information in front of you is going to be super critical to your long-term success. This is why if you don't have the right tools for your Amazon FBA business, this can either make or break any attempt to actually be successful selling on Amazon. The most common mistake new sellers make on Amazon is not checking the Amazon in stock rate. What this means is how many products does Amazon have in stock compared to your competition. A higher in stock rate basically means that it's nearly impossible to compete with Amazon. A much lower in stock rate actually favors third party sellers because there's more opportunities for the smaller players to make sales as opposed to Amazon when you're fighting for that buy box on that listing. If you're going to be selling on Amazon FBA, then you have to be using Smart Scout. It is just the most powerful tool out there for anybody that wants to sell on Amazon. You can actually spy on your competitors. You can find, you know, brands that Amazon is not selling so you don't have to compete with Amazon. And not only that, you get a whole ton of useful information like what is the percentage of any product out there that actually Amazon has in stock. So you wanna go after products where Amazon is not the main competitor or they're not stocked as high as other sellers. And these are the areas of opportunity that exist with Amazon FBA and Smart, Smart Scout is the software to help you do this. Okay, so this video will not be complete unless I give you a demonstration and an example on how to one, find a supplier, two, find a brand, three, how to search it on Smart Scout, and four, see if there's an opportunity there for you to actually buy this in bulk and ship it off to Amazon warehouses. Right now, I am in a pet supply website. I was able to find this particular supplier by just searching Google, finding quote unquote, like very very good suppliers, manufacturers, wholesale companies is difficult. So I'm not saying that it's entirely, you know, impossible. You can definitely get your foot inside the door. And the best way to do this is by going to trade shows and meeting these people face to face. So then what you want to do next is you want to look for a, a brand, right? So I'm pretty familiar with this website already. And I know that once I'm inside the pet category, I want to continue to niche down into something that is even, you know, a lot, a lot smaller. So I'm looking right now into like reptile products. So people have, you know, reptile pets. And, you know, you can see here some of the brands that fall under this sub niche. Okay, so Flukers is one of them. Now I'm gonna show you the software that I use. I went ahead and navigated over to Smart Scout. And here in Smart Scout, you have different search options. Okay, one of them is you can search by the brand. So I took the, the Fluker brand and I searched it. Now there's a lot more filter criteria you can input here, but for the sake of time, I'm just gonna keep it, you know, bare minimum, just the brand. So once I do that, I get this result back from Smart Scout. And the first thing I want to point out is this right here, the Amazon in stock rate. The lower this number is, the better it's going to be for you as a third party seller or if you want to send the product into Amazon because this means that Amazon doesn't have that big of a, you know, brand position selling this particular brand. But in this case, it's actually 81%. So I wouldn't recommend this brand for resale overall, right? There might be some individual products under this brand that Amazon doesn't sell. So that's another thing to, to look out for when you are selling um, on Amazon. The other, you know, information you get here is the average number of sellers. You know, it's about eight per listing. So it is somewhat competitive. Um, the price, the average price, price is very low so you know this is not actually good you want something that's a little bit higher in price uh the monthly revenue for this brand is you know over four hundred thousand dollars so if you find products under this brand where there's low competition and amazon is not selling then there's definitely opportunity here um so you have the average review rating it's you know 4.3 um so the monthly units that are sold so 
45,000 units are sold a month. So this product does move. It does sell, you know, very often for this particular brand. So this is just one example with one sub niche within the pet category. You can actually go down a rabbit hole um, exploring a lot of the features and information here within Smart Scout. But like I said, there's a ton of information in here. Too much to go through in one video. That's why I kind of wanted to just focus on this tab right here, which was the brands tab. Um, again, link is in the description if you're interested in exploring this powerful tool. Allow me to start by defining what the hell is Amazon FBA. So basically what that stands for is fulfilled by Amazon. And what that means is that essentially a seller like yourself takes all of your inventory, all your products, and you ship them to an Amazon warehouse, okay? So there's a diagram I found online and I'm sharing it right now in the, my computer screen and I'm gonna have to move myself around because I'm kind of blocking the diagram a little bit, but it pretty much explains to you how the whole process works. So first you find a product that is a hot seller. So you have to do your product research and this is where the software I'm going to show you is gonna help you to find those products, those brands that really do sell on Amazon. Um, once you do that, then you have to contact the supplier is step number two. Uh, in this case, it's gonna be a distributor, maybe a manufacturer or the actual wholesale company. You're gonna contact them. Uh, you'll buy the products from them, which is gonna be in bulk. It's gonna be multiple units. So once you have the product on hand, then the third part is you have to send the products into Amazon warehouses, okay? And I'm gonna move myself around over here. So your product will go to a fulfillment center. Um, inside of your seller central dashboard, um, you do create the labels. You have to input the, the measurements of the box, how much they weighed. And once you have all that information ready, it gets sent over to a fulfillment center. And then the last thing is pretty much sit back and relax and wait until the sales start coming in because Amazon will take care of the rest by providing you with the shipping and handling the returns and all the customer service. So that's one of the main reasons why I really, really like this whole uh, Amazon FBA uh, model for, for sellers because it takes out a, a lot of the stress um, a lot of the issues that come with handling your own customer service. If you guys have any questions, please, you know, leave them in the comment section below. I know we kind of covered a lot in this video and especially if you are new to my channel and you are pretty much used to the um, Facebook content, this is something that is totally new and totally different from what you're used to. So um, again, I was just exploring this idea um, I think it's something worth paying attention to, especially with all the challenges and problems that do happen on Facebook shops and Facebook marketplace. If you want to sell online, you know, you need to know that, you know, Facebook is not the only place where you can do it. You can do it on Amazon. You can do it on eBay, um, Mercari. There's a bunch of other sites where you can actually sell online. And one last thing, um, the channel is growing so much. So I want to thank you all for all the support. However, about 80% of you are watching the content, have not yet subscribed. Please, I know you guys are lurking behind there watching the content. It will really mean a lot to me if you like the videos and subscribe. It's really going to help my channel grow and to push my content out to a lot more people interested in what I do.